Willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge von L.A. Noir. Wir begeben uns mal wieder zum Wagen und lassen uns zum Krankenhaus fahren. You can drive. Uh, where are we going? Mal schauen, was das Kind zu sagen hat. Gut zu wissen, danke dafür. Dann schauen wir doch hier mal rein, was es hier Schönes gibt. Detective Phelps, here to interview with Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh yes, she's in the room right behind you, Detective. Praktisch. You can't hold me here. No, I don't need to be manhandled by a doctor. I need my lawyer. Hey, where is the telephone? Do you know who I am? Hmm. Huh. Feeling better since this morning, Jessica? A little. My head still feels swimmy. Mm, warte mal, vielleicht. Hello, Doctor. I'm Detective Phelps. You're attending to the young lady from the auto accident? Yes. She's conscious now, but I doubt she'll remember much. She's still feeling some of the after effects. Jessica was drugged? She certainly was. Chloral hydrate would be my guess. And there's clear evidence of abuse. She's still a minor detective. Someone planned a double murder to cover up a statutory rape? Swaps seven years for life and gets Guy McAfee on their case? Doesn't make much sense to me. I guess it depends on what they had to lose. Hm. Okay. Some minutes. Lass mich das doch mal anschauen. Mhm. Ja. Die Hinweise für einen Missbrauch. Gut. Sonst noch was? Ich glaube nicht, dass das etwas ist. Das bringt auch nicht so viel, nee. Hm, da noch was? Nö. Na gut, dann reden wir mal mit dem Mädel. Hallo, Jessica. Uh, mein Name ist Cole Phelps. Ich bin ein Polizist. Ich möchte mit dir über dein Unfall sprechen, wenn das okay ist. Ähm, okay. Na dann fangen wir mal an. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Das glaube ich eher weniger. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover up? I'm not lying to you. Hmm, it gets really so good. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I... I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened and she told me to toughen up. But that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. Naja, das klang in dem Brief aber anders. You're lying, Jessica. 
How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, Detective, why would I lie to you? So, Brief der Mutter. Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. Hmm. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. Hmm, scheint es aber auch nicht so ganz sicher zu sein, das Mädel. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. Okay. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Ja, das ist tatsächlich verständlich. Jessica, I really need you to help me. I remember the mermaid. Was the mermaid in the movie too? No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? Das wäre natürlich schade, mein Liebe. The tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be our lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. Okay, mal gucken, ob wir das hinkriegen. Halten wir ein bisschen Abstand. Blinkt rot, wenn wir zu nahe kommen. Ballard ist definitely up to something. Aber bisher sieht das alles noch sehr gut aus. So, fahren wir einfach mal gemütlich hinterher. Das ist ja schon in Ordnung. Passt ja alles. Ja, Jungs. Ja, ja, ich weiß. Ich verliere sie langsam. Oh, so ein Stück davor. So ein Mist. Schade. Aber gut, hat er noch gereicht. Okay. Wieso? 
Hat der mich, äh, hat sie mich jetzt entdeckt? Zumindest mal Errungenschaft noch mitgenommen, aber... Also, wir das gerade noch mal. Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Sure, I got the film. Ich glaube, ich warte mal noch ein bisschen. Ah ja, jetzt können wir gehen. Wiedersehen, die Dame. So, dann kannst du mal zum Apartment fahren, ne? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. So, where you want to go? Dann mal los. So, what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, Apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd have done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just for looking at his broad the wrong way. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? All units in the vicinity in car 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park, 11K code 3, all other units code 2, KGPL clear. Roger KGPL, 11K en route. All units in the vicinity in car 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park, 11K code 3, all other units code 2, KGPL clear. Na gut, dann hauen wir da mal rüber. So, dann mal los. Ich glaube, das war sogar zeitintensiv gerade. I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick with hysterical female witnesses. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... 
I will. Thank you, Officer. Na gut, dann schauen wir uns doch hier mal um. Junk. Okay. Ah, guck mal, ein Ring. Schön. I doubt it. Hm. Oder auch nicht. So mit der Bürste. Was ist das eigentlich? Doesn't look like anything. Wohl auch nicht so wichtig. Das sieht doch mal nicht gut, äh, nicht schlecht aus. Ein Scheck. So, was haben wir sonst noch? Seems irrelevant. Ja, ist es doch immer. <lacht> Schön. Presented to Mark. Das hatten wir ja schon. Ich glaube, das bringt nicht allzu viel. Wir können ein bisschen Geld mitnehmen. Warum nicht? Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. Hm. Irgendwie ja schon. Das hatten wir. Na komm. Da ist doch was. Möchte ich gerne mal... Ja. Hm. Streichhölzer, nicht so interessant. Gut. Ich glaube, der Schnaps aber auch nicht. Haben wir dann hier alles? Nee. Okay. In der Küche noch irgendwas Schönes? Ne. Da haben sie aber nicht drum gewütet, die Kollegen. Na, ah, guck mal. Looks like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Gut. Da haben wir noch was. Hier haben sie auch ordentlich gewütet. Scheint aber auch nichts Interessantes mehr zu sein. Dann würde ich sagen, wir werden in der nächsten Folge mal mit der guten Frau reden. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß. Seid beim nächsten Mal. <lacht> wieder mit dabei und bis dahin macht's gut und ciao, ciao.